be on the interstate. What are you doing here? Seeing to it that you do your job. Where are you? She is blind. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yes. Nice and tender. We could do something quick. Stay calm. When you're you should eat the freaking cupcake. Then while she's scaring you to laugh, grab a key that's in her pocket and toss it to me through the bars. Gravy or butter? What shall it be? Ow! <sighs> Why is she holding her breath? <laughs> or is she just puffing up her cheeks? I have no idea what she's doing. <laughs> She's got to be able to see something. waited a very long time for this what let's hope you didn't let me down if they grabbed the satchel you didn't tell them to check what was inside it you did it yeah what? we did an apple I'm guessing that's the apple snow white we've got a right? strong heart girl you deserve better than a father who would abandon you you and your brother have impressed me you aren't the first boy or girl that i've sent into that Sticky sweet house. I've decided to invite the two of you to live with me. Here. You mean. No, thank you. We get to live in a castle? <laughs> yes. No. We want our father back. He would never abandon us. And even if he did, we would never want to live with someone as terrible as you. We're going to find him, with or without your help. And when we do, we're going to prove you wrong. We'll see about that. Gretel? What's happening? No. You can't take them. They can't leave Storybook Emma. They can't. Something bad will happen. Something bad has already happened. You're yeah, kidding me. What happened? What's wrong? Engine stalled. Who are you calling? Help. Now she's cavorting with the dwarves? She looks very sad. Happen? Your Majesty, the prisoner you requested is here. Bring let him me, in. Let me guess, the dad that you stole. Yep. I, demand I knew to it. Be released. My children Especially after she made that statement that she sent other alone. boys and girls into that house. I offered your children everything, whatever their hearts desired. And they still chose uncertainty because of their blind faith in you. Tell me why. Hmm? Why did your children refuse me? Because we're a family. And family always finds one another. Release him. You want to let me go? You can all be together. As a family. As soon as you all find one another. Well, I mean, this is not really a change. I mean, they were already separated in the fairy tale land. The only difference is that they don't even know who their dad is in the real world. Hansel, she let us go. I'm scared. Don't be. Everything will be fine. Look like they were in the middle of nowhere. Look. Daddy coming? Is this just a big coincidence that their car broke down or did she set this up somehow? Those are them. Those are them. In your car? It's fine. I just wanted you to see him. Just once. I gave up Henry because I wanted to give him his best shot. When I saw that he didn't have it, I couldn't leave. I was just as scared. More probably. Once I saw him, I got 
to know him. We couldn't go back. You're taking him? Unless you want him. You don't have to. No. You don't. Their dad? He shut up. Changed his mind. They found their father. That's great. I wonder what that would be like. Maybe you'll find out. You can't give up. I don't know. If they wanted to know me, they wouldn't make it so hard to look. Maybe. But maybe there's other reasons. Maybe there is an explanation. Oh, there is something crazy. Something even crazier than Henry's theory. Yeah, what's Henry's theory? Well, that my parents put me in a magical wardrobe and sent me to this world to save them. Oh. <laughs> Who does he think they are? Well, <laughs> you. For one, you. Me. Well, Snow White. Snow White has a kiss. Apparently, that book you gave him, not exactly the stories in the most traditional sense. <gasps> you do kind of have my chin. <laughs> <laughs> what a pretty blanket. Thanks. Damn it. I kind of hoped it was going to trigger something, <laughs> like a flash or something. Uh, what's that? Just an old file. What's up? Pumpkin pie. I I thought you'd like some. Oh, because of her story? It was pumpkin, right? Right. She should tell him the truth. Henry, uh, I don't like she lied. About your father. Yeah? You know, he's so happy, though. I'm glad I told you. Me too. So what's gonna happen if he finds out the truth? And he will find out the truth. Come on. They always find out the truth. You really are changing things. I haven't seen him before. Are we gonna do visitor? Did somebody else come in? The Forbidden Town? Hi. Hey. Is this Storybrook? Yeah. Any see. place to get a room around here? Is a stranger. Uh, you're staying? That's the plan. Granny's bed and breakfast is just up the road, another two blocks. Thank you. Hey, I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't give it. it must be all mysterious. I thought you said strangers don't come to Storybrook. Yeah. Well, that's obviously false information because we got another one. Is he the savior too? <laughs> um, okay, so this was a story about Hansel and Gretel and it went a bit differently than the one that I know, you know, them getting lost and then wandering into the witch's house and, and all that stuff. The ending was kind of the same with the witch part of the story. Um, they put her in the oven and cooked her or whatever. Um, that was pretty much the same, but the way they got there and everything was completely different. Uh, so the dad gave them a compass. So they find their way back to each other. The family finds family. And anyway, so they went to get some wood and came back and he was gone. So they were searching for him, ran into the queen, the evil queen, Regina. Um, and she was awfully mean to strange children. But it's because it was all a trap. She set the whole thing up. She stole their father. And she made a deal with them, you know, they go do this for her and she'll help them find their dad, which she didn't even do, which not a surprise. Um, obviously, 
Uh, she's done before, she said, and that's how I knew I was right that she had him was because of the fact that she said that she had sent other boys and girls in there and uh, they were the first ones to come out. So, yeah. So she's responsible for all those little bones that were at the other witch's feet. Um, and the whole thing was just to get the apple that Snow White is going to eat later and fall into a deep sleep or death or whatever the heck it is. Um, I mean, in the story, it's a deep sleep, but who knows in this one whether she was actually dead. So, yeah, but the other witch I recognized, I said, she was, um, it's, uh, I believe her name is Emma Caulfield, and she played Anya on Buffy, which is how I know her mostly i've seen her in other things since then but uh that's what i mostly know her from and um she was very creepy but i think she did a good job of being a creepy witch that eats children um so the thing with um uh, mr gold when emma went to him to try and find the kids' father, he told her he knew who it was. How did he know that? How did he just know off the top of his head? He said that he added transactions, you know, so he looked it up, but there was nothing on that piece of paper. So how did he just know? That's the question I'd like to know the answer to, but don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I know you guys will probably want to tell me, but don't tell me. Um, because, you know, maybe that'll get explained later. Uh, I don't like that Emma lied to Henry. I understand why she lied to Henry about his father. She wanted to paint this beautiful image. And to me, it was obvious that she wasn't telling a complete truth. And it turns out she was telling, like, a no truth. <laughs> um... It seems, uh, because he just sounded too, too perfect, too nice, um, you know, being like, you know, a hero and all that stuff. So anyway, that's why I was doubtful of her story. Uh, let's see. I, I, I think it's going to come back to bite her in the butt later. I think that Henry's going to find out the truth and be upset that she lied to him. Um, I hope we do find out who his father is someday, why she didn't tell him about her pregnancy. Um, obviously it seems like she said that he was not a good person. Um, so maybe that's why she kept it a secret because she didn't want him involved in her kid's life. Um, because she thought it wouldn't be good for the kid, I guess. But uh, I'd still like to know who it is and, and all that stuff. Um... So we have a new stranger in town. So, you know, Henry's theory of nobody ever comes here and just went out the window. But maybe just because things are changing because of Emma's influence on the town and everything. So, um, but yeah, so he's being all mysterious. We don't know who he is. We don't know his name. Um... The actor looks familiar, though, like I've seen him before in other things. Can't name anything off the top of my head right now. But, um, yeah, so that'll be interesting, I hope. Uh, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.